Well, it was once a place to escape to the stars, but now the old McLaughlin Planetarium is at the center of a battle between U of T and a group of residents associations. The big white dome next to the ROM is going to be replaced, and what ends up in its place is in question. Here's City News reporter Mark McAllister with more. Good morning. Yes, the McLaughlin Planetarium has been a unique landmark in this city for decades. You look up as you're going by and you see the big round sphere on top, just south of Bloor, right next to the Royal Ontario Museum. But as you can see here, there are plans in the works for something new. Obviously, this spot is on the edge of the University of Toronto campus, just north of Queen's Park. Lots of other buildings surrounding it. The new one proposed for this property would be home to a few different faculties, some study space, also a music recital hall. The controversy, though, surrounds the size, 43 meters high, and whether it's in keeping with the area. I had a chance to speak with someone from the Queen's Park Coalition, the group opposed, and the project architects. It was the wrong building in the wrong place. It would have been entirely suitable on, a, on another city street or at the Mississauga or Scarborough campus, but not here in this location. What we think we've achieved is a, is a careful balance of, of all of the various sometimes competing objectives. And it, so it's a building that really comes out of that process. Now, some quick background for you. This place opened in 1968, and of course, the main attraction was the Star Theater. There were regular shows that would project the stars, the planets, the sun, and the moon for visitors on the inside of that dome. It actually shut down in 1995, though, so it's been closed almost as long as it was open. As you heard, the argument is that it doesn't quite fit the area. And so what has recently happened at City Hall is that the Heritage Preservation Board has actually decided to put the project on hold and to study the history and the heritage of the surrounding area before they give any kind of go ahead for this project to go forward. For more information on everything that's happening, you can go to our website, citynews.ca, and I'll have much more for you coming up tonight on City News at 5 and 6.